Let's take a trip to the ghetto. The ghetto. You can find him on his own YouTube channel, Curbside TV. I encourage everybody to check it out. I've checked out a few videos, and I definitely like the direction he's going in. Ladies and gentlemen, on the line, I have S Bone. What up, S Bone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? What's going on? Much love. Much love. Peace and bless. Let me ask you about Curbside TV. What was your inspiration behind starting that? Well, really, uh, something that happened in L.A. as far as with the, uh, the blacks that did something to the little, uh, to the little, to the tamale lady or yeah. something like mm -hmm. did something like something like that. So when I seen all that, and then I seen, um, you know, I seen certain things going on as far as the blacks doing stuff to uh, pacify the Mexicans and different little things. So that's what that's what made me start a page. Some people been telling me to start a page, and you know they, you know they like to hear what I got to say, different little stuff. So, but when I seen that, I was like, you know what, I need to speak on that because I really didn't, uh, I didn't appreciate neither, neither, uh, neither play that happened. You know, from the blacks taking the uh, stuff from the Mexican lady, or the blacks, uh, you know, deep disciplining their homies on YouTube. You know, I didn't like neither one of that. Okay. So that's what made me really just get out there, just really just you know speak my opinion on that, and then all the reviews been good. So I'm like, you know what? Everybody on social media with, you know, with the with the BS and with the negativity. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna just stay me and just, you know, some somebody got to talk right. So yeah, I love that. You know, I'm mean just carving my I'm just carving my lane. I really just really just being me. You know, everything that I'm saying and I'm doing is like I ain't just started doing this. You know, I was doing that in jail. Mm -hmm. You know, amongst my homies. You know, that's my conversation all the time. It ain't just. You know, just because that happened or whatever. You know, I've always been, you know, with everybody just being respectful and respecting each other and trying to uplift everybody. I've always been like that, no matter what race you is. But when when you back me in the corner and then you make me have to choose a side, I, I'm black. I got to I got to go with my folks. Yeah. That's just how it is. You know, that's not saying that I'm against other races. You know what I'm saying? You know, people people like to have conversations, but they don't want to be authentic and they don't want to be real straight across the table. Man. That's so fact. So, boy, that's fact. That's really that's 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 really that's that's really my whole main objective. Like the stuff that's going on with the Asians and stuff, like how the, the media trying to pump stuff up, and you know they really they really putting them on a pedestal. Like like that means something, you know. And I got a problem with that because you know everybody we all equal. You know, if somebody violates somebody, you know they supposed to get dealt with and disciplined and all that. You know, I'm a street dude, so you know what people don't realize is that people that's from gangs and from the streets. We don't honor we don't honor niggas that's, that's beating up old ladies and snatching women purses and all that. We don't honor that. We'll beat your ass. You come to jail bragging about that stuff. We don't honor that. So I don't know what what society or what social media got people believing, but real dudes, no matter what race they is, if they they in jail or in the street, we don't honor people snatching purses, and beating up old ladies and all that. No, we don't honor that. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you won't have a few little knuckleheads that do little stuff because, you know, we all we all been young and, you know, we all done stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, that we ain't proud of or whatever. But, you know, when it becomes like a fad or it's just, you know, the, the, the media trying to pump it up more than that, then I, I got to speak up because it's like nobody, all races, nobody is on social media out there really just really trying to just really shed light on everything. You know, I don't care where, where somebody's from, what race they is. We just, we gonna, we just, we gonna talk about facts we're going to talk about realistic stuff. We ain't going to talk about, you know, fuck this YouTube blogger or, you know, twerking or we don't, we don't got to talk about all that. We don't, we're going to talk about solutions, you know, and, and the solution is to start respecting everybody, respect yourself. If people start being courteous and respect everybody and, 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 and all that, everything could be cool. It ain't about kumbaya in the, in, the, in, the, in the club together and all. I'm not saying none of that. What I'm saying is people need to start respecting their life. And they need to start respecting everybody else around us. It's 2021. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, and the dudes that have been, the places that I've been as far as like certain prisons and certain places, they get out here and they polluting the youth. But when we in jail, everybody talking nice. Everybody talking about it. Everybody talking about what we going to do when we going to get out. Everybody talking about like, oh man, we, no. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing that to the streets. That same that same talk and the same energy that we'd be having when we'd be in jail, mm. I'm, I'm living by that on the streets. I'm making sure that I'm consistent as far as like the stuff that I post, stuff that I say, you know what I'm saying? That it's all, it's all run hand in hand. Like I'm not going to be on here talking about like, woo, woo, woo. And then I get off the phone with you or I 
finish doing a post, they go try to kill a nigga. Like, come on, man. And that's and that's a lot of that's what that's what we got going on. You know, they gonna they gonna blow up the bullshit. They ain't gonna blow Always. up. Uh, you know, somebody talking some real shit. They ain't gonna blow that up because they don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? They don't want to hear that. They want to hear. They want to hear somebody like Charleston White or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's this 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 talking the gang of shit for shock value. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And I got a problem with him too. Yeah, he I had dude, DMX. Man. I had him on, on show, DMX yeah. there. Oh, you did? I had him on my show before anybody even knew who he was, man. Shit, right, this, we're right, going back right. a year ago, and he goes right, on say, right. say Cheese TV. Now he's the biggest thing ever. But yeah, he's now. um yeah he's an interesting cat, man, with some interesting uh interesting points of views. What did he say about DMX? I didn't hear that one. Yeah, he just was basically you know just basically speaking on his death, like you know they said he died over overdose or this and that, and you know, and my and my thing is this, man. Everybody always got something to say, like you know what I'm saying you. We all taught, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Mm-hmm. But it's like, it seems like that's the opposite now. It's like you got to be saying some bullshit to get the, the recognition and, and go viral and, you know, go on Adam 22 and, and mm-hmm. say cheese and all this different stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they really losing because on my mama. If they had me on them different shows because a lot of niggas know me, that's because cause I, I get DMs and calls all the time. Like, man, I'm, I really needed to hear that, man. Or man, I'm 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 glad you said that. Or you feel me? And people don't realize that a, a kind word can go a long way. Facts. It can go a long way. You feel me? It can go a long way. You don't know what somebody else going through, whatever they're going through. You know what I'm saying? I could just come up and be like, "What's up, man? How you doing? You good?" That and I could change the whole. That could change yeah. his whole day. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, damn, this motherfucker asked how I was doing this shit, and he and he probably would think about whatever he was on his way to do. You never know. But if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm, if I'm coming feeding that bad energy to you and you already on bad energy then that's just you know you know and see people don't realize man we passing through they say they weren't about jewelry lights viral clothes <laughs> trips and all that you ain't even realize that you gonna die one day what's gonna happen when you die unless you have uh, now if you don't believe in god then okay then i then i understand but if you if you saying you believe in god then that means you need to be trying to work towards that you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be perfect, but you need to be working towards that meaning. You need to be a righteous person. You need to humble your heart. You need to start having love for people. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 that, and, that's, and that's that's what's going on. People don't have love for just regular people like human life. You know what I'm saying? We already know what, what the big picture is as far as it's a lot of racism and prejudice stuff and systematic right. uh, prejudice type. It's all, we, we, we understand all that, man. We understand all that, but you know what I'm saying? Right now, we need to get to the first thing. And to me, it's just about respecting everybody, being encouraging, and, and, and not being negative and protecting your energy, man, and putting that good energy out there. Look out your window. Let's take a trip to the ghetto. The ghetto. And, it, it, and it, it's, it's a verse, chapter 3 in Ecclesiastes, man. People, and that's another thing. People need to start getting back in the Bible and reading. You know what I'm saying? They think when you hear Bible that you got to put on a suit, you got to be in Sunday school. Nah, that ain't that. Mm-hmm. You got to seek knowledge, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to seek it yourself. Nobody else can't teach you about the word. You got to read and do all that. You know, in the Bible it'll say, you know, it's, 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 it's a time to be cool and it's a time to kill. It's a time to love. It's a time not to love. It's a time to embrace and a time not to embrace. This is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is all in the it Bible, man. Like what we're going through you right now, me? sure. Come on, man. We 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 going through trying times right now. You know what I'm saying? You know you had you you got people you got you got people separated, divided amongst ourselves. We out here on the street, and and these motherfuckers divided behind two white niggas: Donald Trump, <laughs> Joe Biden. That's the shit that kills me, dog. Make, man, make, make it make sense, bro. That's the shit that kills me. How how is we getting into it with each other behind two white dudes? Exactly, dog. And they and and they up there on Capitol Hill getting into it. Mm-hmm. And in actuality, no. neither of them give two fucks about us. Really, they don't. Really, they don't. They care about their money. That's it. Money but as long as they keep pumping that, as long as they keep pumping that propaganda out there, and see, this is another thing I know because I'm really like somebody out here. I ain't just like no regular nigga that started a, a YouTube channel or been on Facebook. Like I'm a nigga that niggas really know out here in these streets. I've been, I did my time. You know, I got shot. I did all my type of shit. I ain't perfect and all that. But at the same time, it's like. <laughs> When I'm doing this type of stuff that I'm doing, I already know the people are going to be on their way. 
because they don't want to hear this type of shit. Mm. They don't want no nigga doing this type of shit because I'm not just like regular nigga. I'm a nigga that's really connected to niggas in LA. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know me. You know what I'm saying? And all they can say is like, damn, that nigga phone always been like that. He always talk like that. See, the difference if I'm just getting like that, they'd be like, no, this is fake. He just now started doing that. But I've always been like that. You know, they right now they calling it woke, I guess, whatever the fuck that is. You know what I'm saying? You know, I always been for my people. You know, I done been in the trenches in jail politicking with Mexicans. Like Mexicans that really got power, you know, they really fuck with me because they always say I was respectful, I was cool, and all that or shit. And then, you know, you hear a lot of shit like, you know, some of the blacks, they disrespectful and all that. And yeah, you know, it's, it's all kind of racist. that's like whatever, whatever. But, you know, mm-hmm. you know, anything dealing with blacks, it's always intensified. It's always more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The Asians did that old bullshit. So they talking about, oh, it's an anti-hate uh, racism bill and all that. Well, where's our bill at? Years, play. <laughs> Try 400 years, where's play. Our, where's our bill at? Uh. Where's, where's, where's our, where's our, where's our acre and our mute? Oh, I forgot. Y'all look at us as property because that's in that same paperwork. We property. We three-fifths of a human being. That's what they got in black and white. Blacks and, 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 yeah, and Mexicans man. and all them, we're the, only, we're the only people that's in the, in that constitution, man. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Bro, literally, like, word for word. But people don't know that, man. If them motherfuckers just wake up tomorrow like, you know what? Fuck this whole world. We finna put the blacks back in slavery and they put that shit back on the ballot. What blacks gonna do? They gonna, they gonna say they typical shit, like, whatever. We are gonna be killing some shit. Nah, we ain't gonna be doing nothing because we don't got no power. Mm. We ain't even together. They're taking our guns. Niggas. They're, they're, they're slow. They, they, they can they, slowly, they, easily they, do look, it if they that, want to. That, that part right there, now they taking the guns. Now y'all taking guns? Man, but from because legal people little, like because me. Of that little, because of that little bullshit that went on? That's crazy. But y'all yep. got Sandy Cook. They, y'all got Sandy Cook. That's cool. They killed Sandy the gang Cook, of kids. Yeah. You got you got the dude up in Las Vegas that killed all the people at the country thing. And you got all these different things going on. But now you want to, but now Joe Biden want to, you know what I'm saying? Joe Biden, I'm telling you. And, 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 and that's, why, that's why I'm mad at the black. Because. Our stupid ass voted his dumb ass in there. New slaves, man. They they voted him up in there. Then they wanted to crucify we know the Ice Cube. We know then the they history. Then they wanted to crucify Ice Cube. Yes. Yeah, then they wanted to crucify Ice Cube. For trying to do now, something, dog, with the current administration that was in there. Back, now he's sitting back. Now he's sitting back told looking at them this. like, look, told y'all. Yep, mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so, now, so now what we need to do, people like me, you, certain people just... That's standing for something that's that's really trying to put some positive to the energy and to the world and all that. You know, we got to stand on that, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't be fraternizing with with these other niggas that's out here that's really putting the negative bullshit out there, whether they got the spotlight on them or not. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not trying to get into no no dick swinging match with Charleston White. Mm -hmm. You ain't nothing, my nigga. You ain't nothing. You living off of seven years when you killed a white nigga? What does that mean? That don't mean nothing. This gang of niggas are cute niggas and all that old shit. Nigga, you ain't been... Nigga, you a grown-ass man. Nigga, you, you talking about when you was a teenager? That's your whole life story? Come on, man. And then you get on here, and then you get on social media, and you disrespect Crips, Bloods, and all this old shit. Like, come on, man. Mm. You looking like you looking like a flunky, man. You on here, you, you, on, you, you on social media, bad-mouthing black people. And you got the mic in your face. And you used to be a nigga that was from a gang, but since you had to change your heart or whatever, now you're speaking bad on everybody that's still from a gang or whatever. I don't like shit like that, man. That's that's that that's that hypocrite shit, man. That ain't cool, man. But you know, you you got these dudes on here with their podcasts, and you know, I ain't mad at nobody, and I ain't throwing rocks and shots at nobody, man. But I just feel like, you know, they really there to try to inform people on some bullshit as a pair, as a, as opposed to. Uh, you know, uh, teach and make motherfuckers aware and, and, and give motherfuckers knowledge, give motherfuckers game. You know what I'm saying? Give motherfuckers love, give motherfuckers respect. You know what I'm saying? Teach motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, 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 what that, that's what that mean, man. If you take a business to raise a kid, man. Yeah. That shit is not just a saying. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Wherever I'm, if I'm talking, wherever I'm talking to you and we having a conversation, bro, we politics and talking about it, what we're talking about. You, you you feeding ideas off of me. I'm feeding ideas off of you. I'm not on here like, hey, man, you know what? Fuck that nigga Hassan Campbell or fuck 
uh, whoever, whatever. Mm-hmm. No, we're not. We're not. We're not doing that. We're not sitting up here talking about. We talking about how we can make some solutions. Progression, so, like you said, and, um, progress. Yeah, and, and what and, and 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 I'm not tired of it. But what I'm tired of is the little, the little fake toy giveaways that these niggas be doing and shit. Like giving away to you know all the little shit that they be doing and shit, man. I, you know, what I'm saying we need some real shit like boots on the ground. Mm. You feel me? Not all that other bullshit. I'm talking about boots on the ground. We don't need to see that on social media. If he, I mean, you know, I'm talking about like like showing like, oh, I'm passing out money. I hate or, when people do that like, shit, dog. Like, like, right. I was just I was just telling the homie the other day because somebody uh I think it was downtown or something. They had a gang money. They jumped and he out. Just throws it out. Yeah, and, I know he's talking about. I right. saw Bosco. And I said. That. Right, Bosco did post yeah. that. I told the homie, I said, I said, I said, I said how you feel about this? Do, do you feel like he helping that's him out or that's dog. making a spectacle? That's making a spectacle. Man. Because you got people running around trying to chase the money. As you, Bumping into as each you other can, like little clowns and shit, trying to get these dollars. Right, all you, all, you, all you got to do is be like, hey, y'all, y'all line up right here, man. I'm, I'm about to pass I'm going to give each one of you a hundred bucks. Here you go. You know, Come on, man. Is. You got people out there running around and shit like you the Beatles or something, nigga. Just yeah. because everybody everybody want money, I can go walk on the corner right now for three hundred dollars a one. Everybody going right. Do that mean I'm? Do that mean I'm helping people out? No, that don't. Yeah, that just mean I want you to go throw some money in the air and put it on social media. Mm. Feel me? Yeah. So, but I ain't knocking nobody for whatever they do. I'm just saying when yeah. when I get the bag and when I get these opportunities, it's gonna be boots on the ground with me. Mm. Feel me? It ain't gonna be I got a crew and they going over here. No, I'm gonna be right there. You know, chopping it up with young niggas, uh, giving them shit, all that old shit. You feel me? And and being hard on them. See, that's and that's gonna separate me from my niggas. I'm gonna be hard on them too. Look out your window. Let's take a trip to the ghetto. The ghetto. I'm I'm from neighborhood crib, man. I got ages crossed out on me and all that. I got dudes from Hoover, man. It's really really from who like really dudes young niggas like they really you know they be hitting me up like man i man i fuck with you man you feel me like so it's like if certain dudes from enemy sets feel like they can fuck with me or whatever they can fuck with everybody it's just motherfuckers want to be hard they you know they act like they got to be tough all the time you know what i'm saying and then you got you got people that's not confident the dudes that's not confident they they hide up under another dude's shadow because they want to get them points they get the recognition from being with these dudes. So these dudes is like torpedo. They gonna do whatever this dude say. But he ain't got no good intentions in leading you the right way. You know what I'm saying? He ain't telling you to get your money. He ain't telling you to stay clean. He ain't telling you to stay healthy. He ain't telling you none of that stuff. Feel me? He telling you to bullshit. Maybe it's something about another nigga. Maybe it's something about a bitch. Maybe it's, 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 a, it's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't telling you. you know, see, that's what I'm saying. My conversations, the way I talk, <clears throat> they always be about pr- productivity, period. Mm. People call me right now today, man. They getting into it with their girl, what, whatever's going on. You know what I'm saying? They can call me and they can talk to me because they know I ain't going to judge them and I ain't going to look at them different. But when they be amongst everybody else, you know, they chest out, they hard, you know, they're killer and all that. Mm. But behind closed doors, when they call me, they, they stressing over their girl, you know, they broke. Or niggas hating on them Real and whatever, and, 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 and all I tell them is like, you know, just just stay strong, stay focused, and keep doing what you're doing. Like I always say, the love is fake, but the hate is real. That's my famous slogan, and that's the realest shit ever. You know what I'm saying? They can show you they got love for you though, but you gonna know when it's all bad that they really got love for you, and that's the real. Thing. Man, you know so I'm just really trying to press that and really just grow my way, grow my movement. You know what I'm saying? Start my little clothing line, I guess, because it's like. You got to do all these little different incentives just to kind of like get motherfuckers eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you got niggas calling me, asking me, do I rap and all that? No, I'm not a rapper. I might not have rapped and do some little shit, but I'm not finna be rapping. That's because that's going to go against everything that I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I can't, I can't rap and put this into words. It don't come out like that. If I'm rap, then I'm talking about the shit that I've been through, my struggle. You know what I'm saying? It's in two different lanes, in two different things. You feel me? But when I'm talking and I'm and I'm just speaking myself, you know what I'm saying, from 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 the heart, you know that shit's coming all off the hip. It ain't nothing wrote down, prepared, none of that. It's all it's all natural. It's all real. It's all genuine. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm not gonna that. be rapping. I'm not gonna be rapping and talking about. Oh yeah, I was growing up in the hood, 
selling dope. Niggas rolling through. Nigga, I'm popping them, running for police. Nah, man. That, that's going to go against because you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's what I be trying to tell people, like, young, that's why I just made a video on my YouTube video about the kids because we got to be aware right? of how we conducting our kids. Yeah. We got to be... We, we gotta we gotta be aware of how we conducting ourselves around kids, man. You know what I'm saying? From arguing with our girls man. to all type of shit, smoking weed, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we smoke weed, I smoke weed and all that or whatever. But, Throwing up gang know, signs, serve, all that shit. They so all, all that shit, that certain shit, twerk, twerk, twerking in yeah, front of young man. girls and and, and you know what I'm saying? A, a, a nigga hitting on a girl in front of a, a little, you know, they soak all that mm-hmm. up, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cur- curse words. You know what I'm saying? The little bullshit on TV. You know, you got Lil Nas X. You know what I'm saying? They just they just got him out there like a puppy. And he's so he's so gone, his mind's so gone, and his soul so gone that he don't even he don't even know that he helped he helping to, to destruct the, the the next the next generation. Because there's a lot of young folk who mind probably not sharp or who who parents or somebody not around to really let them know, like, you know what, that ain't the way to go. That shit ain't cool. You know? But that's what they. That's what they. That's who they putting the mic in front. That's who they giving the bag to. All these weird dudes out here. Yeah, and they're all trying to outdo they're each other. Everybody's trying to outdo each other. Everybody trying to outdo each other instead of standing in their lane and doing what they do. Because everybody got their own ideas, their own plan, their own whatever it is they're trying to do. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. It's like everybody's ain't nobody, trolling now. Ain't no, it feels to me like everybody's trolling right, now, dog. Right. I need. <laughs> I need somebody to troll me so my shit can go viral. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause, Man. Because cause, cause my shit just, just on 16,000. You know, I need my shit to go up. Yeah, you, you know, know what? They'll so keep they stay consistent, me. dog, because I already see you, you getting big. If you stay consistent, if you can try to release a video every day, even if it's a little yeah. something like you did with that Phoenix joint, um, I, 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 you, you'll be at 50,000 before you know it, man, because you have yeah, a story. Yeah, but I'm still, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still like, I'm kind of like, I'm like a nigga on the street when it's with this YouTube shit because it really don't matter to me. You know, I go on there when I feel like uh, gotcha. making stuff and certain shit going on and all that because I really don't want to be generic like the rest of these dudes. Gotcha. These dudes making making videos about every topic. Like, come on, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like it's like the news. Channel 2, Channel 5, Channel yeah, 7, Channel like, 9. They're all saying lane, the same shit. Dog. Yeah, yeah they, they all saying the same shit, but they relaying it different. Mm-hmm. Just like First Take and Undisputed with uh, Skip and uh, Shant. Mm-hmm. They say that I be like every time I watch, I be like, damn, it's Skip listening to uh, Stephen A. Same, same, fifty <laughs> land. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like, yeah, you know, nah, you know, people got their own lane to stay in and all that. So I'm just really trying to grow my stuff, and I'm staying positive, staying consistent, and that's just what it is, man. And I'm gonna blow my shit up, man. And I'm a, and I'm gonna open the eyes to everybody, all race. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't about really just separating shit. But like I said. I'm black before anything, and, and that's just what it is. You know, I'm a jail nigga. I've been, you know, when you go to jail, you kind of, you kind of uprooted and, and kind of taught and kind of like just, you know, the, the little, the little tension and presence of little shit just come from being up in there. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't even have to be like that, but you can see other motherfuckers. They looking at you like you got shit on your face. You like, hold up, I beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's really ignorant people like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and for somebody that's not black. Somebody that's not black, they will never understand that. They will never understand, uh, you know, to get them weird stares and them, them cold looks. You know what I'm saying? And for people to just sit up and think that shit is cool, that's foul. Mm. Period. Point blank, nigga. So if a motherfucker going to treat me like that and get at me like that, I'm going to treat them like that, but in the right way, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to treat them like that in the right way because... Your life ain't better than mine. You ain't no better than me. If you can't tell me nothing to make me understand why you feel like that, period. I don't give a fuck if, 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 if a black nigga killed your whole family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, people got to, people, people be trying to start a fence, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't pick and choose when you believe in God, when you love a person, when you forgive, when you do this. No, you can't pick and choose that. See the city bus. She don't wanna ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise. Look for truth to 
Ears are lost in the sound, brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke. Look out your window, let's take a trip to the ghetto. The ghetto. From what I'm hearing from a lot of people is that a lot of these young youngsters don't have quote OGs or older homies giving them tough love nowadays. That's why they're just running around. No, they don't because they because they manipulated and they tough love is like they when they discipline them and beat them up and chest all that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's different. That's 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 that's, that's not tough that's love, only man. That's make them want to you know fight and beat up and kill more. Yeah, but see, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like with a child. We don't whoop kids, but if they trying to stick a knife up in the socket or turn the so gas thing on, the they gonna get their him. ass whooped. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So when, when you're dealing with, my opinion, when you're dealing with niggas and shit, thugs or whatever you want to call it, certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to get your shit smashed. You know what I'm saying? You posting. We right here hanging out. You posting right here on social media. Niggas know the address. They can come through shooting. <laughs> shit like that, you're going to get chastised for that. You, you, feel me? you know what? Let you me ask you. Let me ask you because you did post a video a couple months back about this. And I've talked about it a couple times on my show. Um, it sounds like you're going in that direction. So I want to uh, ask you about the dude block boy how can we prevent shit like that from happening because you know he's a he was dumb for doing what he did he was stupid for doing what he did but i mean he has parents and like it really at the end of the day right, it's another right, it's another right. person of color that's dead it's you know another, what I'm saying? right and i could be all over his comments like man you need to stop that and whoop -de whoop and you no know, people and, and the dude he was getting into it with him made a, a diss song and i was like i i, I, I commented on there i had a gang of life yeah but i was like i was like i said this shit sound trash man I said, it'll sound good if it was a regular song, but you sitting up here talking about the dead. When they start doing that, when did that become a fad? When did that become cool? Man, I've been gangbanging for the, for, for, for the longest, man, and I ain't never heard no shit like that. Like, yeah, if me and Jew in the hall, we get into it with niggas, and niggas be like, nigga, fuck your dead homie. Yeah, that's different, because we finna get active right there. You know what I'm saying? But we not finna be uh, right, like, on the wall and, Going oh, to people's no, grave, graves. You see that Come Nick on. Blixie cat from New York yeah, who's man, still on somebody's grave and put yeah, Jimmy Yeah, man, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? And see, and see that just lets you know the, the niggas that's around. Because if niggas is around and allowing that, then we, we low-key lose. We got a lot of work to do. Mm. We got a lot of work to do. Mm. Because no niggas in my circle, niggas I fuck with, is going to be going to piss on no nigga grave. Uh, they ain't going to let us know about it. Mm. See, that's the thing. You post that on social media like you got it like that. But see, some niggas don't give a fuck, and, they, and you know they gon' they gon' they gon' make their bed and they gon' lie, in it. and that's just what it is. We can't save everybody. You know what I'm saying? We can't save everybody. All we gotta do, we just gotta lead by example. You know what I'm saying? And we gotta always protect ourselves because we out here in these streets. Niggas don't give a fuck about what I'm saying. Niggas will kill me. They don't give a fuck about what I'm saying, and I understand that, and I don't care neither. You feel me? Because I'm gonna keep doing me, and I'm gonna keep pushing, and I'm not worrying about. Nothing to nobody. You know what I'm saying? If anybody that know me, they know. Nigga, you gonna come correct. Nigga, I'm gonna air your shit out. Straight like that. That don't mean that I'm with violence. That means that, nigga, I'm not gonna play with no nigga. Nigga, you're not gonna get no points on me, nigga. Period. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck where nigga from, what he got going. None of that, nigga. We trying to see, we, we trying to get this shit together. A lot of you dudes ain't even been in the pen, like, like really in the pen to where you really getting that ism and shit. But the, but the prison system, the jail system, that shit is flipping and changing now, too. That shit watered down too. How so? Because you know the it's, it's more young niggas up in there now. They up in there washed up. The same watered down shit that was out here. Them niggas is in jail. Uh. But then you got niggas that been in jail like 20, 30 years and all that. And then they probably just coming to realization like, damn, I just want to just do my time and chill. I don't want to deal with the politics and all that. Do that make him a buster or scary? In, in prison, in prison politics and in street politics, yeah, we gonna say all. Oh, that nigga's a bust. He's a bitch. He PC'd up. He left. But on some human shit, a nigga that wake up, brush his teeth, take his shit, eat like everybody else, this man been in jail 30 some years. 35 years. He, 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 probably, he probably came to the realization that I'm going to die here, so he's trying to just go do his time and jail up and don't got to worry about the politics. You know what I'm saying? And the politics be all type of shit. Because you go up in there and Mexicans and blacks white it's just a politic on a politic and it's just like all that shit was designed to keep us against each other you know what i'm saying but but originally the politics was designed to keep everything cool so it wouldn't be bullshit but niggas don't put black eye in the game they're changing everything up and, and it is what it is 
what I'm saying? You got niggas on the down low. It's fucking niggas and all that old shit. Man, that shit is not cool, man. So I'm just going to keep pushing, doing what I'm doing, man, trying to put that positive energy out there, man. And, you know, I know I, I know I got, like, a lot of little charisma, you know, a little swag or whatever. So I know the young folk, they're going to be drawn to me because of that. So while they drawn to me, I'm going to make sure I'm carrying it right, that I'm not doing no bullshit, that I'm not out here just talking some bullshit and, you know, saying, oh, nigga, whatever. No. They're going to see they gonna see the real authentic, the real is. Because just because I'm saying that and, and talking like this don't mean I won't get in your ass. So I'm not telling niggas don't get in no nigga ass. I'm telling you to be respectful, be a grown-up, take care of your business, take care of your kids, your mom, you know what I'm saying, love your homies, you know what I'm saying, respect each other and all that old shit because every homie ain't a homie. Just because it's from your hood don't mean he love you. You know what I'm saying? Don't mean he gonna really be there for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's 2021, man, and the game is changing, man. And, and people that's I'm 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 from the nineties generation. Nineties was pop, nigga. We was on. And we was tearing shit up and all that. So it's like, you know, all niggas in my generation, man, I really that's what I'm really trying to tap into because we the ones that kinda got the keys for this next generation that's coming up under us, but at the same time, you know, a lot of people mind mind state ain't, ain't where it needs to be because they still on the ignorance shit. You know what I'm saying? But then you, but then you got financial. You, got, you know, we, we financially slump. Everybody trying to take care of their family, take care of themselves, figure out how they can rob Peter to pay Paul, pay their bills. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, it, everything is every everything is up against everybody right now. You know what I'm saying? But if people really paid attention, because I've been hearing this since I was a youngin, about the about the uh the vaccine. Oh yeah, we've been hearing you know, about that. About, about, uh, the barcodes. We've been and hearing about shit. that since yeah, we've been NWO, hearing about that since the eighties. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but we ain't but we didn't believe it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people still don't believe it because, you know, they just that's why they that's why they that's why they open this shit up, man. People not even paying attention. How was y'all opening this shit up, man? Like thirteen months ago, y'all was acting like it was fucking World War Three. Like a nigga couldn't go outside and breathe nowhere. Yep. Yep. Motherfucker standing in the long line to get tissue from the grocery store. Now look. Now she's back to normal. Motherfuck- quote. Now motherfuckers running around. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just had the hood day the other day. Everybody up there, no mask, nothing. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we just we just got we just got we just got to start spreading the word, man. Start spreading the love, spreading the courage, man. And we got to stay focused, man. We 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 got to, man. We can't fall off our square, even when we want to fall off, even when we, when we upset, when we mad, when we want to go left, when we want to do this. You know, I tell myself, I tell myself that all the time. Like, damn, it could be worse, man. I could be in jail, man, with no food. I could be in the hole. Thanks. You know, I just got shot, man. I could be paralyzed. I can have a zipper, a shit bag, mm. all that. You know what I'm saying? These are things that I tell myself. You know, so people got to find something to tell themselves. Like, you know what? Because there's always worse. There's always somebody in a worse situation. Hell yeah. So people got to tell themselves that, man. Like, it's always somebody in a worse situation. As long as you woke up this morning above ground, you got action that makes it something happen, man. You feel me? The first goal is to, to make it make it through today so you can be alive tomorrow, man. God willing. You know what I'm saying? But throughout the day, man, you're probably trying to be productive. Whether it's put some food in the house, you know, extra dollar in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, 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 checking on certain people. You know what I'm saying? It could be regular people. Like, you don't got to know these people. It could, be, it could be people on the street. Sometimes some some, some people just need a little, a little interaction. That's you it. know what I'm saying? It's a little interaction, man. You know what I'm saying? It could be a bum. You know, I might not want to be bothered with a bum today. But tomorrow he might come and I might get out of some cigarettes, some weed, a dollar and all that. Mm-hmm. So, we just, we got to pray, man. Look out, Joe. Let's take a trip to the ghetto. The ghetto. We just we gotta pray, man. A lot of people don't pray. They say they believe in God. They say this and that, but they don't. That's all for play. That's all for shock value to, to say it for for our ears to hear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Post but only God know. Po- post you know, they always they always right, they always say, Oh man, I ain't judging you. Only God can judge you. Nigga, that's Tupac. Nigga, that ain't, you can't show me, 
You can't show me nowhere in the Bible would say that. Only God can judge me. <laughs> right. Or you ain't supposed to judge when they say, why you judge? They can't show you nowhere in the Bible where it say you can't do that. But I can show you in the Bible where it say I can judge you. That's hilarious. I can show you in the Bible where it say I can judge you. Mm -hmm. A righteous man. It say a righteous man can judge. You feel me? Because if I'm righteous, I mean I'm judging you righteously. I'm not judging you out of malice. Right. I'm not judging you to put you down. I'm judging you to try to give you the scripture or the word to try to help you, to encourage you. You know what I'm saying? I can say I'm righteous all day out of my mouth, but God in my heart, no. My my com my conversation and how I treat people and the words that come out, that's going to show you if I'm righteous or if I'm clean. You feel me? So that's just what it is, man. People just got to stay aware, man. And, and we we got to start communicating, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when I was younger, we used to, we used to walk down the street and we used to speak. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Right. Good morning. Oh, what up, bro? Good afternoon. How you doing? Yay, yay. What up, regular? Now, niggas walk by. He's mean mugging everything. You know, onion face. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And now, now you, you now, 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 now you put me on defense mode because you onion face me. And I know what I'm capable of and I know who I am. So now I'm like, hold up. Because there's been a lot of people that's been, you know, talking shit in my DM, cursing me out, all kind of shit. You too? And right. yeah, of course. But look, Haters. I go I go back and forth. I go back and forth with him, and then it'd be so crazy because after five or six, seven messages back and forth, I swear to God, they'd be like, "Damn, I fuck with you, <laughs> right?" They like, they like, Same. they like, man. I've been talking shit to you this whole time, and you ain't even That's, went in. Yeah. I'm like, I said, for one, I don't know you. For two, I don't do the internet stuff, man. You feel me? Because we would not like, be having this conversation me? in person. Let's keep it one hundred. Come on, man. Because you wouldn't even you know approach saying? me like that. You know, if you if you on that Chicago shit and you finna leave an address, hey, go ahead. I'm not saying I'm gonna pull up or I won't. But I'm not gonna do the back and forth like, yeah, nigga, I'm right here. Woo -woo. Nah, I don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you peace and blessing and it's all good because I ain't tripping. Because I'm on the other side of this this computer, smoking, gun right here. Probably a thousand magic. miles from you, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm minding my business, man. You feel me? You check it out your business to, 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 you know, to curse me out. And you can't, you ain't got no reason to curse me out because I ain't said nothing wrong. You know, a lot of people, they be mad because I be speaking on a little different race type stuff, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not speaking on like saying fuck the mother races and all that. And I'm speaking so my black people can hear because there's a lot of black people that's out here like, oh man, that's Mr. Man, I don't want to hear that. We, Anybody with common sense know that's fucked up and fucking of with some course. old people. They're just trying to distract you. You don't got to tell me. From yeah, the fact you don't got to tell me that. For 400 years. Right. Right. You don't got to tell me that. I know, I know that that's fucked up. Of course. But what, what was fucked up was when Natasha Harlan got shot in the head before some orange. Shit. That was fucked up. Shit. Let's you go know, back. What was, what was fucked, fucked up was when they was whooping us for not, you know, picking the cotton fast Come on, enough. man. I mean, Come on, man. Back. You know what what was fucked up is when they were you know spraying, uh, you know, us with fire hoses while German Shepherds were attacking us. What was fucked on, up, man. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on. When, they, when they bombed Oklahoma and took the whole Wall Street. Like, we, we, exactly. we, we got yeah. plenty, we got plenty of, uh, we got plenty of uh, different little entities and things that done happened in United States history, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I found out about the uh, people that's foreigners and they be trying to go, uh, when they try to get uh, their citizenship and all that, uh -huh. you know what they make them. You know what they make them study. The, uh, they make them. They make them study over a hundred questions over for American history. Yeah, my wife is a is a from another country, so she went through the whole thing. Right. They talked to ask her questions right. so about I'm Martin like, Luther King, like all these crazy ass questions. Right, I'm like, I'm like, they want you to know about American history, but what about our history? Mm. Mm. I'm starting to believe that we didn't even really come over here on ship. I'm reading shit I, like dog. Right, tell I me really that. I believe that. I'm starting to read shit now. I'm like, okay. Look, I, 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 you know why I believe this, that? I, go ahead. Because, because I ain't never seen none of that shit in no museum. No artifact. Mm. We yeah, seen you at least see a ship, shit. right? A ship with the plant, the, the planks and all that shit. Or something, something, man, we're dog. Not, we're, not seeing all, we're not seeing all type of shit. See, that little, you just turned it on again chain. in my head, man. Man, I'm saying, I man. Mean, we're the Native I'm, Americans I'm real real us? I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. It, it, it is us. We, we are the, we the indigenous people of, of, not of this land right here. Damn, that's because crazy all you gotta, because, just turn because, that on in my head out. again. So check this out. Martin Luther King, we got the I, I Have a Dream speech. Right. Right? 
they don't never play the whole speech. They just play the end of it. Mm-hmm. But if you go and listen to the whole speech, he say, he say it's a it's hundred years later and the black man is still exiled in his own land. A hundred years later, why you say that? Because if you go back a hundred years later, 1863, that's when they had another little civil rights type, little movie type shit. You feel me? Then you got Frederick Douglass. Then you got Sister Soldier and all them. The, the, the first Rosa Parks that didn't uh, get off the thing or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you got a gang of, you got a gang of literature from like Langston Hughes, Frederick Douglass and all them. They don't speak on nothing about coming from Africa. That's interesting, man. Why? No grand, none of their grandparents, great grandparents, nothing. Why right? though? See, why I'm gonna wouldn't have to they? Why in they business? Wow. Look, but why? Why in they in they little stories and different little shit they say they they won't be like, you know, white men stole me from my land, brought me back over here. It they will put that right? in there. They will put that in there. Hmm. You know, you can't you can't find no black literature from back in the day when they saying they brought us over. You can't. Damn. If you look at all them old look, if you look at all them old slave ass videos, they don't look African. They motherfuckers look black. Right. They look black, man. I ain't seen I ain't seen a ship. I ain't seen nothing. Damn, homie. But they show you all this other shit. Dinosaur uh, bones and all this whole other crap and, and all this old shit. And then it then coming from coming from that area where they were trying to say the slave trade was going, it's gonna be difficult to ride a boat. A ship in that area. Mm. Unless you go up by Canada and all that. Mm. So people, you know, we, we've been lied to for so long, man. You don't see no you don't see no slave ships nowhere, only in books, bro. You'll see something. You'll see a motherfucking hat or something, right? Like something you don't, you, shackles, you don't you something. don't see you don't see nothing. A piece of a piece of wood, huh. uh, uh, a half of a ship. They even got pictures of the Titanic and all them up under mm-hmm. the water. Sank three thousand miles ship. below the sea, and they can't find a fucking every, slave ship, huh? Every 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 ship that's up huh. under there, man. All them pirate ships, all them all the all the missing gold, all the little bull crap. Why they don't got that? You, you can't say you're trying to save us or help us because you remind us every day that we black, and every February that we were slaves. <laughs> God damn, when God! You, you just turned when, it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when 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 did they let us forget? I'll wait. <laughs> when did they let us forget, man? That's all I'm saying. Uh. So now, so now we slaves and we came from over here and all this old shit. And they always it come gives up, us that inferior mindset. So off the top, we come on, man. Sorry, we're, we feel we're we don't necessarily feel it, but we feel like we come from an inferior background, which leads to us feeling like yeah. we're inferior. Yeah, now. Well, we, we ain't we ain't we ain't Ooh. African. Africans. Africans don't even fuck with black people. Ooh. They'll tell you, oh, yeah. nigga. I'm an African, nigga. Mm-hmm. They'll tell you. Every every other nation to tell you they this and that, except for black nigga. Look out your window. Let's take a trip to the ghetto. The ghetto. I remember in the '80s, I was black. Then when the '90s came, I became African an African American. American. Yeah. Now what? Now what am I? I what pers- am I now? People uh, of other? color, I think. I think we're called it people of color. I don't. I can't keep right. up, man. They're changing that shit every two weeks. Right. They're adding you letters me? here and there. Come on now. Uh, I'm I'm good. I ain't man. never seen. I ain't never seen not one person that's black. I ain't seen one person. I seen somebody that's dark, mm-hmm. dark skinned. I ain't never seen nobody that's black. The color of a crayon. Mm. But we got people that's, that's different shades all over the globe. Brazil. They call Brazil oh, Afri- yeah. Afro Brazil. Yeah. Even they in over China, there dog, they got people in China right. that are just as dark as darker than us. You know what I'm saying? Right, but that's, noses but that's, and everything. That's what the, but that's what the Bible. That's what the Bible say though. The Bible. The Bible say we was gonna be transported on boats in shackles. That's what it say. I just ain't seen the. I ain't seen the boat, but that's what the Bible say that we was gonna be shackled and, and, and transferred to foreign lands, and we was gonna be scattered to all four corners of the earth. That's what it say. Hmm. You feel me? Everything getting there that is describing and saying is describing the black man. But then you get people saying, oh, man, I ain't, oh, 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 the white man wrote that and all that. Okay, so if the white man wrote that, why didn't he change the color of everybody in there? Because all the prophets in there is black. There ain't not one white person in there. Only white person on there is, is the thing that's wrote on the front of the cover, the King James Bible. Mm. That's it. Everybody in there black. Peter, David, all of them in there black. Moses, all of them. They in there black. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In Revelation, just, it, in Revelation, just say that 
the forefathers of the, the, the children of the of, of the forefathers that they, they gonna suffer, which is which is us. You know what I'm saying? And to say that the, the the kids of the people that had us enslaved, they gonna they gonna you know according to the word, you know they gonna suffer when it's time to come for judgment day. Now, is it true? We don't know because we still breathing, we still taking. We don't know until we cross over. But if you believe in, in, in quoting everything on that Bible, everything in that Bible it says that we are superior. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying I'm not I'm not talking about my words. I'm talking about what's in the Bible. If we saying this Bible is true, I'm talking about the Catholics, all the people that read out that Bible, but they not but they but they skip it. They not reading the scriptures. They reading what they want to read because if they read everything in there, it's gonna tell you that Jesus is coming back for the twelve tribes of Israel. Ain't nowhere in there he said he's forgiving everybody. Nowhere in the Bible he said he's forgiving everybody all nationality. Nobody can't show me that. Nobody. Nobody. Not no not no rabbi, not no not no priest, none of them can show me in the Bible where it say God is coming back and everybody's gonna have a fair action at uh, you know, cross no. No. He only coming back for the twelve tribes. And if we and if we lost, that's why I say that's why you say my people are lost, like sheep. Say that in the Bible. We lost. Because we don't know who he is. Because we don't want to believe the word. Because we think everything is a hoax. Or we think this and that. So, you know, if people want to be real, like really authentic real, that's what we really need to be focusing on, really, which is getting back in the word, man. Because we we here to get back to where we came from, man. You know what I'm saying? According to the word. But if people don't believe in, they just be like, okay, well, shit, I'm just living until I died and whatever it is. You know, more power to you, brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't knock me because I know it's a real God. Because I done been up under the gun too many times, close range, and I know it ain't nothing but God. Why the motherfucker did not kill me? Mm. I done been in all type of situations and, and prayed, like, really prayed, like, like, only you and God know whenever you pray, like, you were sincere. I done been through that, man. The guy answered my prayers, man. A lot of times, man. And I'm a nigga that's really from the streets. I got shot five times. I've been to prison ten times, individually. Yeah. I've been to prison ten times, man. Ten. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Oh, damn. Not three, not five, not six. I've been to prison ten additional times. So a nigga can't tell me nothing. As soon as you get, as soon as them cuffs go on, y'all niggas, God y'all go up God in the motherfucker jail. God, God says yeah, you in yeah. prayer call. You got the rosary. You filling out the, the list so the, so the chaplain can bring your rosary. You got the Bible, all that. And I'm not mad at you doing that neither. But what I'm saying is I'm bringing that same energy that we had up in there. I'm representing that out here. Damn. So that's what I'm doing. That's a perfect you know way to wrap it up, my man. S bone, yeah, I'm doing. S bone, it's, it's been a pleasure, homeboy. Um, tell yeah, so I appreciate you too, yeah, man. Thank you, man, and, and tell everybody out there where they can find you, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, y'all can follow me on Instagram, S bone Dark Politics. You feel me? Just type in S bone Dark Side Politics. That's gonna be me, S bone Dark Politics. And uh, you can hit me up on YouTube. Just type in S bone. You feel me? Curves High TV. Subscribe to my channel. Y'all fuck with me. Uh, right now, I don't know what's going on with my YouTube. Like the comments is off. I don't even know how to fix that to where I, where I could turn the comments on. I don't even know how to do. It. Oh shit! So, get me offline, dog. I, I I can walk you through that if you want. Okay, to. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, text I'm gonna me offline you and, and I I got you, dog. Real talk. I'm yeah, gonna be sir, recording. Yeah, I'm I need still that. Here. Okay, I got you, homeboy. Yeah, yeah. Just text me. So I'm gonna hit you probably like thirty minutes to an hour and shit. Don't even trip, man. Hey, dog. It's yeah, but must uh, but but uh, I'm gonna say uh, I appreciate you, man, because you know you didn't even have to reach out and fuck with me, man, and put me on your platform. So I appreciate that, man, and I honor you for that on my mama. Thank and, you. You know, I to felt every, that positive to every, to every, vibe that you had, dog. I felt it. Right, right, right. I, I appreciate that, and, and it's all authentic. It ain't nothing fake. None of that. And I and I just want to say to everybody that's listening, man, you know, if y'all know me, then y'all know me. If y'all don't, y'all need to get to know me. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to let's just start spreading respect, start loving one another. And just one day at a time, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody perfect. And we all up against it, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody not your enemy, man. You feel me? It's actually the ones that's closest to you that's your enemy. Mm-hmm. So y'all make sure y'all keep your eyes open, stay focused. 
stay prayed up, stay healthy, and be respectful, man. And don't be so quick to react. Because sometimes you can, you know, you can talk yourself into a situation and it be serious than it got to be. So just think, man, before you make your decisions and your actions, Slow man. And much love to everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Much love to everybody worldwide. You know, I'm, I'm representing L.A., and I'm giving shouts out to everybody, Chicago, Atlanta, New York. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all a long way. Thank you. Tap in with your boy. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, homeboy. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you uh, on maybe in a couple of months and get more into your your personal story. Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room